Yo guys, what's going on? It's your girl here. Welcome back to another video. And in today's video, we're going in on Minecraft, guys. And I'm going to show you top tips on how to start a Minecraft city in creative, guys. These tips I have gained over the knowledge and over the experience of building Minecraft cities over the past few years. And today, I'm going to put them into one video and help you guys out on starting your own Minecraft city. Please take into account that these are my personal tips and these are my personal ways on how to start a Minecraft city. Everyone is different when it comes to building cities and you might find your own way that works with you best these are the ways that work with me best guys and today i'm going to share them with you so you can go along and build a awesome minecraft city that you are going to enjoy building and you're going to enjoy showing off to your family and friends let's do this guys if you do enjoy do not forget to smash that like button and show your love and support by hitting that subscribe button guys and also turn on your post notifications because i have a lot more videos where this one came from let's get into this so the first thing you're going to want to do guys is start off in a super flat world if you go into a world that is not super flat guys and has biomes and has all these crazy stuff it's a good idea it's a, it's a good way to go about different height levels but you're going to run into a lot of problems such as the mountains getting rid of mountains having to remove stuff having to build around stuff it's going to be a lot harder than what you think guys so the best thing to do is just jump in on a super flat world guys they're on every single console every single platform that minecraft offers you'll have an option to click on super flat the second thing you're going to want to do guys is figure out what your actual plan is on this city are you going based off something are you going based off your own knowledge are you going based off an actual place or are you just building as you go along before you even jump into minecraft you're going to want to figure out how you're going to plan your city now i always go on to paint or i get a pen and paper and i just do a little doodle on what my city is wanting to look like it never goes to plan but it's a good way on how to function your city and how to realize what you're actually wanting to build the next thing you're going to want to do guys is figure out the level on what you're going to want to be building on this city now a lot of times I see people whenever they jump into a new city I see them building on ground level now the only downside about this guys is when you go down you don't have much go guys you're just gonna go straight down and you're gonna die because you can't build anything past bedrock guys as soon as you hit bedrock that's it you can't go any further so what I like to do guys definitely if you're wanting to have rivers or if you're wanting to have a sea for example with a beach you're gonna want to go up a few levels so let me just show you guys what I mean by this so here's my ground level okay and I'm free down until I hit bedrock. So I, I want to build some rivers and I want to build a beach on my city, guys. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up about five blocks. So one, two, three, four, five. Saying that, I'm going to go up about seven blocks, guys, just because I want to have an underground system as well. That gives me enough room to have a nice roof over the underground system. As you can see right there, guys, it gives me enough room to have a nice roof over my old underground system. And it also gives me enough room to go down if I need to. But it also gives me enough room enough play with if i want to build rivers or if i want to build beaches now you're probably thinking okay that's going to get confusing how are you going to do about that guys what about when i want to build a road and i want to build a pavement because obviously if you was going to build a here that's all you'd have to do is delete the top layer off off thing and then put it on like that guys and then when you want to build your pavement that's all you're gonna have to do is go like that it's the same exact thing for up in the sky guys that is literally the same thing you're gonna want to do so for the pavement example we're gonna build it okay guys and then with the road that's all you're gonna want to do is go one level down and then put whatever material you're using for your road when I'm using the city texture pack guys I always like to use grey wool if I'm using the normal texture pack I'll use black wool or you can even use concrete concrete I would prefer these days now that it does give you an option for concrete back in the days then black wool would be the go-to guys okay so the next thing you're going to want to do guys is start off with the roads whenever you build a minecraft city you're going to want to start with the roads if you start with buildings buildings are going to be plotted all over the place if you start with a beach then you're just going to have a beach you're not going to have a road guys if you start with a river that's that's also a good start to go on as well guys but the base on what you're actually going to want to do guys and the base on how you're going to want to begin your city is always go with roads roads are the best thing you can plan everything out with a road know where you're going you know which way is which and you know where to place build once you have a road so that's what i'm gonna do now guys i'm gonna build a quick road and then we're gonna get into the actual scale of things
Okay guys, so another quick tip and another question that I get asked a lot whenever I'm making a Minecraft city is how do I plan my roads and how wide do I have to make my roads? So I'm going to make a separate video on all about roads and Minecraft cities because I have quite a big knowledge on when it comes to Minecraft city roads. I've spent about the last three years planning and building cities guys and i know which roads sit where and what roads sit where and how wide to actually do them i i agree to myself that i have that much knowledge to be able to make a video on on roads on minecraft guys so for example for this road guys you're gonna need to get some black obviously place your place your road guys then you're gonna want to get some carpet guys now your road all depends on where you're actually building it so for example this is just gonna be like a high street this is gonna be a road going in the middle of my city it's not gonna be a highway it's not gonna be a motorway and it's not gonna be a road that is used quite on a regular basis for fast cars it's just going to be used a little road going through the city itself guys so for a road like this i'd normally do four by four so for example one two three four five one two three four so they're both four by four guys so there's four each side that gives it enough room for things to go up and it gives it enough room for things to go down as well guys i always leave two spaces between them and i make the white bits two by two so that's how my road would look if I was to build it in a normal city. Obviously, when I've got shaders on and when I've got texture packs on, even when everything just adds up together, guys, it looks a lot better than what it does right now. Okay, guys, so another thing that you've got to do, guys, is know the style of what you're actually building a city on. So you don't want to build a medieval city when you're going to be including some modern buildings as well, guys. You don't want to be building a modern city when you're going to be adding some totally different style buildings into that city, guys. Now, you can have a city where you can have different areas. Obviously, you can have an area where it's really modern, and then you can have an area where it's not so modern, and you can even have an area where it's literally really old-fashioned and nothing is being upgraded into the modern style, guys, and it's all a concrete building now guys when it comes to building a city the main thing you have to do is make sure you get the styles all right guys because if you start mixing up styles and if you start mixing up looks in the city it's just not going to sit right and everything's just going to look out of place and, and odd guys so make sure you pick a style that is going to suit the city and make sure you pick a style that you can build as well guys and you know how to build or you're willing to learn how to build okay so i built my road i've planned my city i know what style i'm going for i know what my road type is and i know what kind of build buildings i'm going for and i have a nice pretty plan in my head guys now it's all about building and scaling your actual city so i built a 4x4 road guys which is a normal size road when it comes to driving down a normal highway street guys or down a normal town road or even just got driving through the city itself guys my city is going to be a drivable city guys so each line of buildings is going to have a road and i don't want to make the roads too wide i want to make them nice and small but enough room for a car to go up and a car to go down that's a scale i'm going for and i don't want the buildings to be overpowering if i go for a building that is overpowering and it's just too tall or it's too wide it's just not going to sit right for example if i was going to build the empire state building now i wouldn't build it to the point where it's the same exact height to what it actually is in real life but i'd build it higher than the rest of my buildings and i'd make sure that it's going to be one of the highest buildings in my city to do that guys and not overpower it you're going to want to make sure you just scale it down enough for example in ordinary life if you was to scale a building and you looked at a normal skyscraper and it was 10 blocks high but if a building was going to be 10 blocks high or even 20 blocks high for example and i wanted to scale it down into a minecraft size i'd half that so instead of it being 20 blocks high guys i take it down to 10 blocks high and if a building is 10 blocks i take it down to five blocks if you want your city to be big and you want it to be in scale size then you're going to want to make sure you get it in a scale size now i'm not going to fuss about what materials i'm using because i'm literally doing this for the video but materials also matter when it comes to building minecraft cities you don't want to build a material out of a building that just doesn't sit right or just doesn't look like it'd be used for building let's have a look you don't want to use stuff like dirt you don't want to build cities out of dirt wood again i wouldn't recommend building buildings out of wood that is being placed in a city definitely if you're going for a model style i'd stick with concrete iron blocks also like sandstone that's okay as well guys or end, end stone as well that's not too bad it all depends what different texture packs you have on your actual world 
build. So for scale size, this is a 4x4 road. This is a normal size road when it comes to Minecraft survive, um, cities, guys. Now, here are the different scales that I'd recommend when it comes to building a building. Now, you can go taller if you want, guys, but this is just my personal preference. If you have too many tall buildings, then you're going to have an override of too many tall buildings. If you have too many small, then it's not going to look like a city. You're going to want to mix up the three of them, guys. You don't want everything to be the same level. Now, last but not least, guys, is how many buildings do you build in a Minecraft city? That all depends on how big you want your Minecraft city to be. If you want your Minecraft city to take up the whole entire map, then build as many buildings as you want. Build as many buildings as your mind can create and as many buildings as your mice can put down. There's no limit. There's no limit to building how many buildings you want to build in Minecraft City. The only thing I'm going to say on this, guys, is try not to overload it. Get your character in your city, guys. Build about 30 buildings. Add in some shops. Add in some hotels in around that city. Add in some parks. Add in some greenery. Add in detail into your builds, guys. If you did take any tips out of this video, then send me over your city. Go on to my facebook page or my instagram and send me over your city so i can have a look at them guys but for now guys i do hope you enjoy this video if you do want to see any other videos where i go over a few things on minecraft with you whether it be how to build something to how to do something to how to detail my buildings or how to even build a road guys my next video on minecraft will probably be how to sort out your roads and how to build your roads and how to build a highway and then i'll go on to the actual city and build in certain buildings and everything so i do hope you enjoy I hope to see you back in another video, guys. Stick around for more Minecraft videos because I'm going to upload them a lot more now, guys. I do miss uploading my Minecraft videos and I do miss playing Minecraft. So I'm going to jump back into it, guys, and upload as many Minecraft videos as I possibly can. I hope you've all enjoyed and I hope you're all staying safe during the current circumstances of the world. I love every single one of you. It's been your girl. Peace.